Hello children, welcome to digital class. Today we are going to learn something about creativity. Do you like music? Oh, I love music. Music is something which makes me relax. It enriches and enhances my creativity. Why I am talking about all this music? Something related to today's class. But before going to the session, let us go through the objectives of this session and the objectives are this session helps you to understand what is choreography, features of writing choreography script and a model script of choreography. Music, I was talking about music, a part of music which is related to dance, drama and playlets that is a stage performance. So, all these are something related to creativity which includes creativity, heart of creativity. So, today we are going to discuss on this creative writing. Yes, creative writing is a concept and a part of creative writing is discourse. Discourse is which is connected to language. Language is something like fitness maintenance. I mean continuous practice and proper planning is required to be fit. Similarly, if you want to learn a language or master a language skills, you have to maintain a proper planning of learning as well as thorough practice is required. What do you say? Do you accept? Now, what type of practice is required? What are the tools or zim that we require to maintain this fitness? One aspect what I believe is discourse oriented learning. Discourse oriented learning is the better source of learning language skills in a better way. Now, what is this discourse? Let us see what is discourse. Discourse is that anything written or spoken communication and it is also an expression of thought through language. So, here we have different types of discourses. Discourse when we talk about discourse that is a uh, related to language or literature or writing, we are talking about a discourse that we put on a paper or presentation of certain specific aspect uh, in a language form, right. So, this is something like a communication, maybe in a art form or a script form. So, what I want to say is every act of communication can count as an example of discourse. Generally, our scholars say that there are four primary discourses. They are argument, narration, description and exposition. When we are talking about discourses, we find a special discourse that is poetry versus I mean which is a special form of discourse and a very attractive part too. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about something related to it. Here as you all know, your 10th class paper, I mean to say your curriculum carries a major and minor discourses as a part of creative writing that is section 3 of your exam paper, which plays a vital role in our routine life too. If you want to present something on a stage as a drama or a, a dance performance, you have to put a structure on a paper which we call as script writing. Script writing is very important when we uh, want to present something on stage or maybe uh, in an open ground that is to communicate something or to pass a message to the audience or spectators. So, if a systematic process is followed, if you have placed everything on a paper and go on presenting according to that script, your 
performance will be fruitful or else you may lose the link. So, to know that here we are going to discuss about one of the script writings which is a part of your creative writing section 3 of paper 1. Okay. Before that let us see what are the major discourses that we have in our paper 1 as well as paper 2 for all 6 to 10 standard. So, here are the discourses let us go through it. Major discourses narrative, conversation, description, interview, news report and letter writing. Moreover, essay, biographical sketch, script for drama or play, choreography and speech. So, I think children you got my point as it is highlighted in the list. We are going to discuss about choreography. So, right from the beginning I was stressing the point music, music, music. I love music and even you all love music. When we go on uh, watching something on the stage like a dance or any activity of drama or something, we will just stare at it. If it is in a sequential order and if uh, the message has been passed to us perfectly, right. So, choreography is a very important thing when you go on to perform on a stage. Then when you want to place uh, your performance in a fruitful manner, first put it on a paper. That is why script of a choreography has been part of your paper you will get practice of preparing a script of choreography, right. So, first we have to know what is choreography. If you know what is choreography and have to prepare the script of choreography, your performance will be well, ok. Now, let us see what is choreography. What is choreography? The movements, steps and patterns that are often associated with composing a dance with set to music is known as choreography. Choreography is something which is related to movements or uh, performance on a stage according to the music in sequential order. To perform this as I said earlier, we have to put it on a paper. Now, this is a script writing of choreography. As a part of your paper have to write the script, there are certain rules and regulations to be followed to write the script of a choreography. Shall we see that? As a written discourse, the choreography script will have the following features. The first identification of the main theme and stanza wise themes. Then identifying manifestation of the themes that is as instances or events taken from the real life. Identify the characters involved in the events and their actions, creating the setting through the actions of the chorus. Then sequencing the actions, all the actions has to be arranged in a sequence. Maintain proper layout of the script, mean a script has to be placed in a systematic manner using appropriate expressions for capturing the actions and movements of the characters and the chorus too. So, these are the features that we have to follow while preparing the script of a choreography. First identify the theme, then this instances, sequence and proper order to be maintained. Now, as a part of your text, you have a poem that is once upon a time, the last eighth unit poem reading B. So, let us take it as an example and go for script writing. First, let us see the format that we followed, but before going to the format, let us see what the poem is. Once upon a time, I will read out the poem children, just concentrate on it. 
Once upon a time, sun, they used to love with their hearts and love with their eyes. But now they only love with their teeth while their eyes block cold eyes search behind my shadow. There was a time indeed they used to shake hands with their hearts. But that's gone, son. Now they shake hands without hearts while their left hand search my empty pockets. Feel at home, come again, they say. And when I come again and feel at home once, twice and there will be no thrice. For then I find doors shut on me. So, I have learned many things, son. I have learned to wear many faces like dresses, home face, office face, street face, host face, cocktail face with all their comforting smiles, like a fixed portrait smile. And I have learned too to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart. I have also learned to say goodbye when I mean good riddance, to say glad to meet you without being glad and to say it's being nice talking to you after being bored. But believe me son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these mutting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to love. For my love in a mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. So, show me son, how to love. Show me how I used to love and smile. Once upon a time when I was like you. Bye. Gabriel Akara. So, this is the poem of your unit 8. Now, some of your friends are trying to present it as a stage show, and uh, it is not of a total poem, it is a part that is a uh, first three stanzas. Shall we watch it? Once upon a time, son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes. But now they only laugh with their teeth. While their eyes block cold eyes search behind my shadow. There was a time indeed they used to shake hands with their hearts. But that's gone, son. Now they shake hands without hearts, while their left hands search my empty pockets. Feel at home, come again, they say. And when I come again and feel at home, once, twice, there will be no thrice. But then I find doors shut on me. But believe me, son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh, for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. So show me, son, how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile. Once upon a time, when I was like you. How do you feel, children? What do you say? Is the performance fruitful? Is the message passed to you? How is it possible? What 
what have they done before going to the stage performance. Absolutely right. They did a script writing. They placed everything on the paper in the form of a script in a systematic manner and followed the pattern. So, have to prepare that script. What is the format to be followed? Let us see the format of script writing of a choreography. Then we will have an example of script writing. So, here is the format, I mean the steps to be taken. Script of a choreography. At first, title of the poem, then theme or themes of the stanza, location, characters, instances of the poem and the final sequence of action. So, these are the steps, six questions to be answered to prepare a perfect script of choreography. So, let us see the choreography of first three stanzas of poem once upon a time as an example for your exam 2. This is a major discourse of your paper 1 and it carries 10 marks. So, if you answer all the 6 questions, uh, you will be allotted 50 percent of the marks. Grammatical aspect, sequences and the, the theme, everything carries marks. So, while writing choreography script, uh, you have to follow the format given to you. So, let us see an example to make it clear to you, so that you can score better marks in your board exam. When you start writing a script of choreography, you title it as a script of choreography at the top. Then the first point is title of the poem. You can title it as once upon a time or you can title as you wish according to the theme of those these three stanzas. Next second step is the theme are themes of the stanzas. If the stanzas has been divided into different scenes, you have to mention scene wise theme. Here when we take the first three stanzas of the poem, remembering the way people used to behave and interact with each other is the first theme mentioned in the poem. And then comparing it with how people interact with others now is the second theme mentioned in the poem. So, when we have done theme, the next third step is location, mean where the performance is going on, mean where the characters are placed. It is in a garden, old India's meeting place and the present day's meeting places. I mean to say that how the people used to meet in old India's and how the people used to meet in the present days. Mean old India's old scenery, present days present scenery that is the thing. And now the next one is characters. Here father that might be an old man and next a boy. And then to show the performance that is uh, the feelings uh, of how they wished uh, in the olden days and present days, two persons of olden days and two persons of present generation. Next step is instances of the poem. So, what are the instances mean comparing to the real life events? People used to laugh with their heart, they used to laugh with their emotions. Now, they do it with only their teeth, not with their heart, mean artificially. So, this is the instance that we are going to show in the performance. When they would meet each other, they will shake their hands with pleasure and with warmth and do it willingly. But now, we can see that they are trying to use him to get to his money or receiving something from him. It means that here the main event 
of the life giving priority to money is expressed to this poem. That instance has to be clear in script writing. The next one is sequence of actions. We have taken three scenes of these three stanzas. The first scene expresses the chorus enters the stage and creates the visual effect of the garden. The old man approaches the young boy playing in the garden and pretends to be speaking to the boy. And then in the scene 2, the chorus again enters the stage and creates the atmosphere of the old days. The old man enters with the little boy and pretends as if he is speaking to him. The two men enters the stage and wishes as if in the olden days. They pretend as they are laughing with heart. Here the chorus enters the stage and creates the atmosphere of present days. The old man enters with a little boy and pretends as speaking to him. The two men enters the stage and wishes as if in the present days. They wishes each other as in the present generation. The old man requests the boy to teach him how to love as he used to love. The old man asks the boy to show him how to live as he used to live when he was like the boy. And the final step of choreography script is moral or message. Live with heart, smile wholeheartedly. This is the message. So, now you have seen an example of choreography script writing. So, this choreography script writing is very important. When you see, you have six basic steps to be followed while writing choreography script. So, every script have its own role. So, everywhere you have to enter the points required. First title, theme, instances, location, characters, sequence of actions and moral. All these points is to be covered well. While explaining the sequence of actions, you must mention the actions taken as scene wise. And if you have observed clearly this example of choreography script, you might have observed the chorus enters the stage and makes a visual effect and chorus leaves the stage. So, these two points will be common for all the scenes. So, this sequence has to be followed well. Hope you have followed the example. Now, what you have to do is, you have other three stanzas to be done. Take it as an example and write a choreography script, a script of choreography for the remaining three stanzas and try to perform it as your friends did. Then you can see the difference. Moreover, you can uh, make a practice of language skill. A script of choreography is a part of your paper 1 section C, creative writing and it is of 10 marks. So, just concentrate on it and hope you can do well. Moreover, your board exams are approaching and take it as a practice and do well. Hope you will do well and I am sure you can do well. Okay? All the best for your board exams and we are at the end of the session. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you.